What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Cultivation Nation. Grab your bongs, grab your lighters, and let's get to talking about some genetics here. Some of my favorite seed banks, very reliable, ship really fast, and uh, easy to use. Just pay with credit card, cash app, all that. Um, we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you some of my favorite genetics, the strains I like, uh, the breeders that I like, and like I said, the seed banks that I use that ship these seeds to me really fast. So let's get right into it. This is a catalog from Fast Buds that was sent to me on my last order for Multiverse Beans. And then here's some of my favorite genetics. So when, let's talk about breeders. Looking at these seeds here, you see some Ethos, a lot of Barney's Farm, Dutch Passion, more Ethos, Mephistos. Now, I've grown a lot of Barney's Farm. I've grown a lot of Ethos. And I've grown a couple of Mephistos, Dutch Passion, love them, grown them a few times. I can say one thing about all of these genetics. None of them are bad, they're all great. I love Ethos and I love Barney's Farm. I really love them all, I love Dutch Passion, they're just all great. I am i haven't got a bad seed yet in all of my orders, guys. I mean, I, I just, I don't know if I'm lucky or what, but... Haven't got a bad seed yet, so carrying on. Um, here's what you need to, to to look out for, right? So I'm just gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a little example. See these this purple sunset reverse back cross number two. I grew one of the five seeds, and there was actually six seeds in that pack. Shout out to eat those, and it was just freaking bomb. It was the only plant in that grow. It was amazing. So I planted two more right away. Those two plants, not only are they identical to the first one I grew, but they're twins. And what that says to me is it's very stable. They're stable genetics. So look out for that. If you pop five seeds of the same strain and they look a lot alike, that's very stable. Now, again, you have phenotype. So it really doesn't mean much. But if you're seeing that, that twin effect, just know you got some stable genetics and it's really good. So... Another thing is, is I've never had a Herm in my life. Everyone talks about Hermes this, Hermes that, and yeah, light leaks and, and certain things can cause it, but genetics can too. And I'll tell you one thing, with these breeders, you don't have to worry about Herms if you're taking care of your plants and keeping them stress-free. Now, moving on to seed banks, I'm just going to give you guys two references here, my two favorite ones that ship really fast. Even standard shipping, they show up in three or four days. It's insane. So my favorite is Multiverse Beans. Okay, guys? Multiverse Beans. You just type, go on Google and type in multiversebeans.com. They accept quite a few payments that are relatively easy. Credit or debit card, cash app. So after you make the order, they'll email you and you can set up the payment then after you confirm the order and yada, yada, yada. So Multiverse Beans, my favorite. Freebies in every order. That's a freebie and that's a freebie they sent me in the last order. Always freebies. I usually just give them away to the guys and have them check it out. And I'll say this about their freebies. They're always good. And I, and I think it's because they want you to come back and buy the seed they're having you test out. So I don't sleep on the freebies, guys. The freebies are great. But yeah, Multiverse Beans, man, just multi multiversebeans.com and go get you some seeds they'll be in your doorstep at three or four days and you can order priority shipping overnight shipping whatever now my second favorite seed bank guys north atlantic seed co.com awesome again i mean they're great they're not really my first choice and i'll tell you why they don't have as many strains and breeders to select from as multiverse multiverse has it all multiverse has breeders i've never heard of and some on there but um they still have great customer service great genetics and they ship really fast these are the only two seed banks i really ever use i've used a couple more but i like these guys they're trustworthy they keep it coming they keep it coming right and uh, i wouldn't send you guys off man i'm trying to just give you guys advice on the channel you know what i mean so you can have some genetics like this and get you some really nice plants going so that's all i gotta say man is pick what you want to grow get you some either some autos 
or some fems. I, I usually do fems or autos. I don't fuck with regulars because I don't have the time or money to send in cuts to detect male or female or flip to flower and pull plants. So I just go with the fems or the autos. It's easier. But yeah, man. I'm, shout out to Barney's Farm, Dutch Passion, Ethos, and Mephistos. Great genetics coming out of these seed banks right here. So if you're just starting out and you don't know where to go, I can promise you, if you get you some Barney's Farm, some Ethos, some Dutch Passion, or some Mephisto, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, guys. So have you a good day. Um, I hope you got it. Once again, NorthAtlanticSeedCo.com or MultiverseBeans.com. And these are just some strains I would check out if I was you and I was just starting out. Peace, guys. See you on the next episode.